My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're talking about k &N. Now this it sounds like it's fan brashing, uh, brand bashing, but it's not. I just wanted to have a go and see if I could draw it on the board, and I have a k &N filter here. So this is a k &N filter, I snapped a bit off because I wanted a bit of ABS. Um, <laughs> but this is the old filter out of the um, SV. I've just recently re re replaced it with a high flow just because because I like high flow stuff um, the fact that they don't come in pretty boxes means that they've spent fuck all and I'll show you what I mean by pretty boxes the K&N brand whoa fucking shit the bed that's uh, yes so that's the high flow box as you can see wow talk about fucking dot matrix fucking 1985 look at that graphic that's just fucking amazing that's what i kind of like about it is that it is new you see look it's got the phone and the and the little scanny accessy jobby so it's not like they haven't looked at it since 1986 um you know, it is just that they don't care. That's what it is. There's more money gone into the product than there is into the what is it. So why have I got this k and filter? Why is this on the board? And why am I banging on about boxes? Um, so this is about uh, this filter. So this filter, there's a sticker on my airbox, uh, which I, I'm going to peel off. Um, and this is a one-trick pony uh, washable reusable and washable KNN filter um, and you can buy and your men are wash them out with all the shit that they're wanting to sell you so it might the you might feel that this is cheaper than a high floor sister uh, high floor or anyone else's replaceable air filter um, but they're gonna get you with the cleaning fluids and when it does the thing is one of the things with air filters is how the fucking hell do you know how do I know right how do I know you know, I am not going to bullshit you and say, oh yeah, I can feel high flows, but I can't fucking tell. The difference between the two, or the difference between this particular one and the high flow, is this is a washable, replaceable one, which I don't like. I don't like the idea of, you are never going to get the particles out of this. you just fucking not. Not with a load of spray bottles and a fucking air compre compressed air gun and all the rest of it. You're just not. Right, you're just fucking not. Now, don't get me wrong, this filter's done its job. If I can show you that shit in there, if it'll pick it up. There we go. You see, there's loads of shit in there. You know, there's in here, there's loads of fucking beetles and God knows what and fucking little fairy bits. It's done its job, you know, it does filter and all the rest of it. <sighs> but if I blow in it, it blows a lot of shit in my face. Um, don't like them. Don't like them. Don't like any. High flow probably do replaceable washable filters. I don't fucking know because I don't get them. Um, no, as far as I'm concerned, you just can't clean them. You can't possibly clean them. Now, I've worked for a company that had a lab that were trying to clean out filters um, for the semiconductor industry. And they were filters for a photolithography process. And the, basically, the filters there were to catch my, uh, little particles of metal from um, etching and all the rest of it, and make sure that it doesn't go into this very, 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 very expensive print head. And they just couldn't. So you know, and they tried because then they could make a lot of money selling filters that are self-cleaning in these massive industrial machines. Where basically, what you had to do is you'd run it for a week and have to replace the filter, and the filters were about $200. Um, and they tried fucking all sorts. You know, they tried absolutely everything. An entire process, shitloads of chemicals, vibration, ultrasonic, they tried all sorts. And they could not get, I think they got it back down to 30%. So basically 30%, um, they couldn't remove basically. That was it, of microfine particles. Now what's this gonna mean your engine? Probably nothing, I just don't like it just don't like the idea 
of having a filter that you have to clean out. You know, um, I've got another filter here. This is not for a, this is not a bike filter, um, which we're going to look at in a video straight after this um, about filters and how important they are and so on. Um, you know, they do catch shit to these filters. It's not about performance for me. You know, even foam and all the rest of it is pretty much good enough. Sand is probably one of the most dodgiest things you can ingest into your engine. Um, you know, that is one of the most, that's it, most destructive because it's silica, gets in your engine, sticks to oil like a motherfucker and just turns into a, <laughs> an abrasive paste, basically. Um, so yes, you want, you know, um, oh, I can't remember what they call it now. There's a name for how small particles can get through the holes in the mesh and they use different meshes and this that, and the other and fibers got different fibers and so on with not trying to restrict they're all pretty much good if you've heard of them and they're fucking everywhere then they're just good enough for everybody you know i don't know what this is who makes this one fram make this one this is a car filler um but yeah you know they all they pretty much all work unless you're going to go bargain basement you might as well put a t-shirt in there um but yeah, you know, I just don't like the idea of the washable ones. Yes, it's wasteful having a filter every two years and chucking it in the bin or every year or whatever. But it'd be more wasteful when your engine's grinding itself to dust with, you know, turning itself into paste for the sake of a fucking filter. I'm not, like, again, if I would get a K&N filter that is um, a replaceable one any day, no problem. You know, if I went down to my local place, which is what I do when I pick up something... And there's a K&N one filter then, it's about the same price. But the replaceable washable ones, I just do not like. It is completely up to you. I'm just letting you know um, that that had one in and I don't like it. Um, you know, having stuff like Evans where they say you never have to replace it and having stuff like replaceable filters that you, yeah, you do have to maintain them because you have to wash them and all the rest of it. But these things that say that you never have to do that ever again, I'm always dubious with that, always, if someone, even if Cashflow brought out an oil say this oil lasts you forever, I'd be like, nah, you're alright, I'll replace it every, alright, if it lasts for 10 years, I'll be replacing it every 2 years instead of every year, or every 6 months is generally what I do. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.